Business and industry have made substantial contributions to Irish American communities, providing not only economic opportunities, but also serving as vehicles for cultural preservation, community engagement, and collective empowerment. Business and industry play a crucial role in the fabric of Irish American communities, shaping their identity and providing opportunities for economic advancement. Tonight's honoree, Andrew McKenna. If there ever was a Mr. Chicago, it's without a doubt Andy McKenna. He is really the source of all information, all thoughtful recommendations and good judgment about anything and everything that happens in our city. Andrew McKenna well deserved the title of Mr. Chicago. He left his fingerprints on the city's business and sports scenes, and there was no shortage of passionate, philanthropic pursuits that left a lasting impact on the city he loved. Being Irish sticks with you and stays with you. Uh, in my case, my paternal grandparents were born in Ireland, my, my paternal grandfather in County Monaghan, my paternal grandmother in County Mayo. My other grandparents were temporary. And then they came and they settled in the south side of Chicago, but was educated by Irish Dominican nuns in grammar school. So I grew up in a neighborhood which was a mixed neighborhood, Irish Christian brothers in high school. And no one in my family had ever gone to college, and my dream was to go to Notre Dame. But I think even more important, it was my father's dream that I go to Notre Dame. So when I was accepted, I was excited. He, as an Irishman, was even more excited. After graduation from Notre Dame and DePaul College of Law, McKenna rose to become one of Chicago's premier businessmen, nicknamed St. Andrew of the Boardroom, for his ability to forge consensus on the most difficult issues. He served as chairman of McDonald's Corporation, as well as heading many other major business concerns, and was an integral part of Chicago's sports teams, the Bears, the White Sox, and when the Tribune bought the Chicago Cubs, they turned to Andy McKenna. A Southsider and devoted White Sox fan was suddenly running the city's beloved Northside ball club. Andrew McKenna was once called the most powerful man in Chicago sports. He served as the chairman of both the Cubs. Joining us now is Andy McKenna, the new chairman of the board of the Cubs. And the White Sox. But one of his most memorable legacies involved baseball broadcasting. Anyone else? I'm looking for a single to left. Holy cow! In 1981, Harry Carey became a free agent. Boy, Andy, I'm really disappointed in you. He said, Harry, what are you talking about? I said, here, Jack Brookhouse is retired. And you haven't even called me. And Andy McKenna he said, said, don't move. Where are you? You'll hear from me within 15 minutes. We got ourselves quite a group here. Andy McKenna, the chairman of the board. Here's Steve. So let me hear you. Andy dedicated his life to service and leadership in Chicago's philanthropic community. Director of Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. The Big Shoulders Fund. The Ireland Economic Advisory Board. Lyric Opera of Chicago. The Museum of Science and Industry. The Civic Committee of the Commercial Club and the United Way of Metropolitan Chicago. His philosophy? At the end of life, the measure of success is not how much you've got, but how much you've given. Not how much you've earned, but how much you've returned. And not how much you've won, but how much you've done. McKenna and his family have left a lasting impact on sports, business, the Catholic Church, and the philanthropic community. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to induct Andrew J. McKenna into the 2024 Irish American Hall of Fame for his contributions to business and industry.